The Seventh Sunday in Easter, Year C, from the Acts of the Apostles. Immediately, all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were unfastened. In the name of the God to whom we are bound, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus calls us to be completely one, as he and the Father are one, so that the world may know that the Father has sent Jesus to dwell among us as one of us, and has loved us even as he has loved Jesus. Those bonds of love should unite us in compassion, but often they do not, because love is not the only thing that binds us. In today's reading from the Acts of the Apostles, we see a young girl bound not only by a spirit of divination, but also in slavery. So that when Paul sets her free from the spirit, her owners drag Paul and Silas to court. She's not free to be set free, because her economic bondage gives her owners the legal right to profit from her spiritual bondage. When they accuse Paul and Silas of advocating customs that are not lawful to adopt or, or observe, they question religious loyalty, but they also assert their right to put their own economic interests before her spiritual, not to mention physical and emotional well-being. We see this again in the prison. When the earthquake sets the prisoners free, the jailer feels bound to kill himself because he assumes that those he was bound to keep bound will have fled with their freedom. Do not harm yourself, shouts Paul for we are all here. Faith in the God who causes light to spring up for the righteous leads the believers to stay in their places, subjecting themselves to continued imprisonment to preserve the life of their kindred. Their faith that one day they will hear the Spirit and the Bride say, come, and that they and everyone else who hears will say, come, and that everyone who is thirsty and who wishes will come to take the water of life as a gift. That faith, that is what enables them to stay. Let us likewise stay in the places of the heart that God has given to us, bound as we are in love with those who are far off and those who are near. We are all here in this world. We are not separate that we might turn our faces away from the pain and the grief of our kindred. Let us acknowledge our mutual thirst that we who do wish might come and take the water of life as a gift. In the name of the giver of all life, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.